The delegation of young Israeli social network influencers and bloggers came to Dubai to meet their Emirati counterparts. We came here so the ordinary people, not just leaders, will meet each other, create connections, make new friends. He tells me about his conscience. I describe Israel. The event was named Cousins Meetup a reference to both Jews and Arabs being descended from the same patriarch, Abraham. We learn a lot from them, and we've got a lot of things to teach you guys. I mean, right here, yes. once upon a time, we never knew, but like right now, not even cousins, we're brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're brothers, huh? We're brothers. The new friends conversed, sang together, and raced through the desert on ATVs. They shared all of their adventures on social media in order to make the peace treaty between the two countries go viral. The trip was sponsored by Israelis, an organization founded by Israeli combat veterans to improve Israel's image abroad, especially among youth. Luayel Sharif, a Saudi influencer, was sitting with Stefan, one of the Israeli top singers. Together they learn about each other, but mostly together they make a story on Instagram. And this story got a publicity around the world that I'm sure that every Arab in the entire world, from Saudi, from Bahrain, from the UAE, maybe from all the countries that watch it, the young people from Israel build a better perception, can have a better tolerance from the other side. Besides creating social media buzz, these encounters can be a basis for more substantial political action, according to some analysts. Person-to-person -person encounters are crucial because they allow us, allow us to see each other as simple human beings, but they can also create empathy. And when well-organized, when well-facilitated, those meetings can push to, to also action, because I think that the encounters are crucial, but there need to be follow-up. Both Israelis and Emiratis were curious to learn about the other's worldview. One of my favorite questions for the participants is, uh, what, are the, what are the biggest lies that you once believed about Israel? I want to know about how, how you got into this world. I want to know about what you used to believe, how you broke out of it, why you're here, why you want to be our friends. The visiting Israelis and their Emirati hosts marked Holocaust Remembrance Day, a first for Dubai. But more important than remembering the past, the organizers say, is building a joint future. The Israelis plan to host their new friends from the UAE in the coming months in Israel. Linda Gradstein for VOA News, Dubai.